Hi everybody and welcome to the 2021 No Before holiday season hints and tips to stay safe online. I'm Jacqueline Jane coming to you all the way from Australia. My first tip is please do your research on what you would like to buy and only buy from official websites. Ignore anything that surprises you via email, SMS or even a pop-up ad. Number two, there will be an increase of emails, notifications and these pop-up ads with amazing deals asking you to click on something or open something to access the deal. Unfortunately, many of these will be fake and scams, so pay close attention and just don't click. Better to be safe than sorry. Tip number three. Use a third-party payment service such as PayPal, Apple Pay or Google Pay, which gives you an extra layer of protection for your transactions. You could also get yourself a credit card or a separate card from your bank and only use those for online transactions. So if something bad does happen, you don't have to cancel everything in your bank. Tip number four. Don't use free public Wi-Fi. It's just not safe these days. If you really need to, please get yourself a VPN, a virtual private network, which gives you that level of privacy and protection while you are online. Number five, make sure you're not reusing your passwords or login details. Using the same email address is absolutely fine across accounts, but don't make the mistake of reusing passwords. If there are too many for you to remember, please feel free, write them down and maybe have a look at a password manager tool. They're incredible and they can make life so much easier for you when it comes to managing all of your passwords. Number six, keep an eye out on your bank account and monitor your credit card report regularly, probably even more over the November, December, even January period. It's worthwhile just in case you see some transactions that actually didn't come from you and you can let your bank know. Number seven, watch out for holiday greeting cards called e-cards. They may not actually be from the sender who you think they are and clicking on them could cause you quite a big problem. So unless you're 100% sure where they're from, just don't take the risk, don't click on them. And number eight, the final one, if you're traveling over the holiday period, please keep your devices safe in view at all times. Lock them if you are going to leave them for a second. And if you're going to do that, take them along with you. All right, my friends, thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the very best for the holidays coming up. And I look forward to speaking with you all again in 2022. Bye for now.